You might say, yes, happiness is a good thing, but you mentioned earlier that I will still get negative thoughts and emotions and feelings. So how do I deal with it? So in today's session, I'm going to give you a simple practice, which is going to help you deal with a negative thought or an emotion, right? So there are kind of three steps to it. And our mind is designed to think. That's how I explain it to my client. So as the heart is there to keep pumping and keep beating the same way, our minds are designed to protect us and analyze things and plan things, right? So that's what exactly what it does. What we need to do is we need to work on how we can manage these unhelpful thoughts and feelings, right? Because we all get that, but uh, they are kind of uh, the suckers of all your energy and all the happiness from you. So this simple three-step practice, the first thing is whenever a negative or unhelpful thought comes, right, which you just can't shake it up and it's ruining your mood, it's ruining your inner life. And it's, it's uh, kind of uh, hurting your behaviors and actions with other people as well. So the first thing is you notice the thought, right? So as you are watching something on the television, so maybe easier is to close your eyes and watch this thought. Okay, so this is popping up and acknowledge that your mind is trying to protect you. So this thought is there for a reason. And after you notice it, after you settle down watching this thought, ask this series of questions. They are in a worksheet as well. So you will be able to uh, go through them later as well. So the first one is, is the thought helpful right now? At times at 3 a.m. if you are worrying about a meeting which is going to happen after four days, then the thought is not helpful, right? So the first is, is the thought helpful right now? The second is, have you heard this story from your mind before? So what we are doing is, is this a repetitive thing? Is this mind telling the same story? So, oh, you will uh, not be able to perform well in this meeting or the presentation if the mind is doing the same thing again and again. How old is this story? Some people, when I work with them with their stress and depression, the stories are repeated for very long time. So when I say very long time, that would be from childhood. What would happen if you let yourself get all caught up in this story? What would happen? Okay. So at 3 a.m., if you get caught up in this story, what will happen? Would it be a good use of your time and energy to pay attention to this thought? So thoughts come and go. In a day, we get around 70,000 thoughts. I work uh, with a lot of people in workshops and there is a whole course of four weeks where we learn to pay attention to our thoughts and unhook from our thoughts. So we need to ask, is this good time to use my energy and time in this thought or with this thought, right? So these are the five questions you can ask. And as you get the answers, the grip of that thought will decrease on you and it will create little bit of space for you to choose your actions. The second step is stepping back from the thought. So as we are watching that thought, which is not kind of controlling us anymore, what we are doing now is, can I take any physical action which is going to help me uh, kind of loosen the grip or unhook me from this thought, right? We all get thoughts, but we can step back and then think about what can I do, okay? When you ask these five questions, you will get a clarity about, do I need to invest right now in this thought or I can just kind of put it aside and do something which is important to me. The third step, 
is taking that action, right? So the second step, we are stepping back and thinking about an action. And in the third step, we are taking an action which is according to what matters to us. So if you are doing this meeting after four days, and if you really care about producing a great work, you would be either practicing the presentation, you will be planning and preparing the presentation, you will be rehearsing that presentation rather than getting hooked by that thought, oh, what will happen if somebody asks me a question? What will happen uh, if somebody will laugh at my presentation, right? So those are the thoughts which we all get, which creates anxiety. So these three steps are first is noticing the thought, asking the five questions which you will find in the worksheet, stepping back and choosing your action. What can I do now? And then the third is taking the action. So this is one way to deal with unhelpful and negative thoughts. Hope you try it. And as you practice it, right? So this is also a practice. As you practice with multiple different thoughts, you will get better at managing them. And as you manage negative thoughts and emotions better, you will be happier. So we need to learn this skill and this skill is very simple but it requires practice.